A lot of people are afraid of this guy. The tarantula. But what if I were to tell you that there is an insect that gives this guy nightmares and a side of paralysis? Hello everyone, my name is Mike Schultz, and today I will tell you about an amazing insect known as the tarantula hawk wasp. <laughs> The tarantula hawk wasp in the Pepsis genus are found in warmer climates in North and South America, where, you guessed it, tarantulas are found. The Natural History Museum estimates that there are 133 different species of tarantula hawk. These guys can grow up to 11 centimeters long, but don't let that size fool you. They can still take down a tarantula that is many times greater than their size. Humans don't need to worry about these wasps as they pose no threat to them, as long as you leave them be. But what if you did decide to irritate it? Well, you better watch out. Their sting packs a punch. While not lethal to humans, their stings can still hurt. On Schmidt's pain index, which goes from one to four, the tarantula hawk wasp has a sting that rates a four. That is the highest pain level there is. Their sting is only outdone by the bullet ant. Schmidt said that the pain lasts around five minutes, but he also said, quote, that all you can do is lay down and scream. The tarantula hawk wasps eat nectar and fruit juices. So why do they hunt on tarantulas? Well, the answer is pretty simple, to provide food for their young. But only the most terrifying of the sexes hunts them down, females. Females instill fear into the hearts of their victims. It has been seen that tarantulas usually don't fight back. Instead, they flee. They fly out in search of a tarantula, and once one is found, the female will fly down and sting the tarantula, injecting its venom. At this point, it is game over for the tarantula. Well, sort of. The tarantula is still alive, However, it has been permanently paralyzed. The female will then drag the spider back to its own burrow, or the female will dig a burrow of its own. Females are known to drag tarantulas up to an astonishing 100 meters. Then, the wasp lays an egg in the spider and steals the burrow. When the egg becomes a larva, it is greeted to a gourmet meal. So let's dive into the full life cycle of a tarantula hawk. First, a male and female will mate. Afterwards, the female will fly out in pursuit of a tarantula. After it finds a tarantula, paralyzes it, and drags it to a burrow, the female will lay one singular egg in the abdomen of the spider. And after a couple of days, this egg will hatch into a larva. It will first feed on the tissues and hemolymph of the tarantula. However, it will save eating the vital organs of the tarantula for last, as it wants to keep the tarantula alive as long as possible while it feeds. Eventually, the larva will exit the tarantula and pupate. And after pupation, it will finally emerge as an adult tarantula hawk wasp. And to conclude this video, I just want you guys to be thankful that you are not a tarantula and that you have to live in fear of being paralyzed and eaten very slowly while you're still alive. So thank you for watching this video. Adios! But it is only the most terrifying of the sexes that hunts down the tarantula. Um, I flipped it too early. <laughs> it will save eating the vital organs for last, as it wants to keep the spider along. Along? It wants to keep the spider along? Yeah. <laughs> so watch out. If you decide to irritate them, their stings can pack a punch. Uh, gosh dang it.